I'm back with another mukbang, truck bang challenge. Come get you some. I'm back with another truck bang. Hey, yo, we got a deluxe cheeseburger. What are we gonna call it? A frosted deluxe cheeseburger, uh, a frosted hot dog with some slaw and chili on it, and some fries. And we got a frosted hurricane. It's like a blizzard. They biting. They biting. It's an Oreo uh, ice cream combo that we got from Frosties, uh, griddle and shakes over here on uh, St. Simon's Island. Somebody said it was good. I went ahead and tried it. I'm gonna try it. It's my first time. And we finna get it in, man. You know what I'm saying? I try to get a home team, you know, some shine, but it's a lot of places here that don't deserve it. It's a lot of places here that don't deserve it. We're gonna go ahead and eat at uh the customer service wasn't that good. Everybody was frowning like they was finna get fired. We finna I, I, we finna hope this burger good and this corn dog, I mean that's not corn dog, this hot dog, I should have just got hot dogs. Anyway, come get you some. Hey man, around this area ain't too many of me over here. So I'm just letting y'all know that now. So you hear tennis courts and volleyballs being hit. That ain't us. So I hope nobody don't call the police on me. Anyway, go ahead and get this thunder out of the way. Oh, let's do it like this. With the, with the little crazy looking hot dog too. With the hot dog right here. We got slaw all over. <laughs> Yeah. Can you see me? Uh oh, it looks kind of dark. And it's okay. I'm just trying to give you content today. Okay. Because, whoa, last night was a rough one. I said no pickles. I've been into a pickle. Better okay though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been into one. Mm -mm. I'm gonna act like a meal shake today. The pickle almost took me out of here. But it's okay though. But it's okay. If it's a little dark, I'm over here under the trees. I'm kind of hiding. It's in the evening. So hug. I don't know if I'm allergic. But we'll just say, we'll just say tap water don't agree with my body at all. <clears throat> my body, I don't even want to think about it. Let's just say it was a long night. I, for whatever reason, I drank some tap water by mistake. I think I got it from the soda machine. And the filter needed to be changed last night at work or something. And I got home. It don't waste no time. It don't waste no time. Woke up this morning. It ain't waste no time. You hear me? So. It's a blessing y'all got one out of me today, Kim Folk. Oh, 
So with that being said, I'm trying to get the back when they pick up. <laughs> I'm trying to get the burger with the pickle on it. They need they need to work on these fries. These fries look like uh carved up q tip, uh, not q tips, but toothpicks. They need to work on this now. They need to work on that. You can't see the food that good, you miss nothing. Tastes better than it look. But when I finna sit down, I said, man, I just have to get get back with the kid for tomorrow. I do a video tomorrow. So I turn on Netflix and watch the movie called Fractured. I said, ain't nothing this on. Let me watch there. And I promise, I had another movie intending for Mukbang in a movie. No, no, yeah, me neither. So, I said, hmm. By the time I got to hear that movie, I said, I know it. Dude named Ray, right? Was coming home from his debacle Thanksgiving dinner with his in-laws, and he was arguing with his wife. And the daughter was in the back, she was the headphones on. He said, man, if I ain't never like me, she's like, well, you shouldn't be such a boo 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 And he's like, man, you just chill out. And the wife was like, what are we doing? We broken. We broken. Like the movie said, we fractured. He's like, man, the girl was like, daddy, can we stop and get some batteries? Cause and I got a pee too. And he was like, man, okay. He was nice to the little girl. His, her mama, mm -mm, not so much. So they put her in this gas station. And this little ugly looking dog. And she lost her compact for makeup. And she just be, it's a little toy thing. And she lost it. And her mama and daddy, her mama and her went to the bathroom. And she came out, she couldn't find it. So, he ain't had enough money to get the batteries. And he, and he and he told them that they didn't have no batteries. So I was like, oh, he a liar. I don't know why. I had to put that in there. But I felt it was important not to miss that part. Sorry, kid, but my autofocus ain't working like it should be. So. She went in the store to look for the uh, look for the compact, and he was looking in the truck. The little girl was running around playing, and it's like a construction site next to the gas station. You know, a little dog just came up, one well, growling and nothing. And she's like, "Daddy, Daddy, come get this dog, please." And he was like, what? What you want? Now turn around. And she was finna fall off the ledge. And the dog kept coming closer. He said, don't move. Don't move. And, and she was, he was saying, get away. Go on. And he said, no, I ain't talking to you. You don't move. The dog kept coming closer. And the dog kept going closer. She lost her ballot. And she fell over the ledge. And he went to jump after her. Both of them hit the ground. He come to. His old lady beating on him. Said, man, what happened? What happened? And he turned around to get a composure. He turned back. His daughter was on the ground. And he was like, she was like, I'm okay, Dad. I think I'm okay. And then he tried to move her. She said, oh, mm -mm, something ain't right. Something ain't right. He said, I think your arm broke. But we're going to pick you up. My wife was like, it's called the Ebony Man. I said, nah, I'll get it there quicker. So I get in the truck. And he almost killed him on the way there. So he gets to the Ebony he gets to the hospital. 
hospital full of people. He said, hey, my daughter, she got a book on. He tried to cut the line. He said, my daughter, she got a book on. And they was like, eh? She been shot or stabbed or anything? You need to go sit down, sir. She'll be okay. Cause, that, Cause that's how I'd be. I'm like, man, you gonna cut in front of me? My daughter messed up too. What's wrong with you? So, we just sat down, and he said, they gonna call us. It's a long line up there. And his wife tried, and his wife said, well, Ray, do something. So we got up, said, look, my daughter, her mama tripping. Is there anything you could do? She said, no. Nah. You're gonna have to go back over there. So, he got a coke. Told her I to sit down and shut up. He didn't say that, but he got a coke and gave it to her. So, all of a sudden, they called their name back. So, they went back there. And they asked him who was on the insurance previously. And he had been in the previous marriage, but she died. And he said, what does this matter? Why does this matter? And we had to ask you all questions. What, what's your daughter's blood type? I'm like, I don't know. I like, oh man, that's sad. He said, well, she said, we'll come back to that. She said, like, sir, we don't take your insurance at this hospital. And he was like, what? I'm like, no. This busting. I come back over here and go back over yonder for one of these. This bus. Faith is like this. My grandbaby like this. Mm hmm. That little Oyo crunching all in my mouth. So. And he was like, well, we don't take. He said, so he was like, we'll take cash, we'll pay cash then. I'm like, dang, Ray got that check. Ray got that check. And he assistant manager at like a hardware store. I was like, well, what, what, what? What kind of hardware they selling? Huh? He had his own business prior to that. He was an alcoholic. So I guess he ruined, uh, a recovering alcoholic, so I guess he ruined his business because he was too much, doing too much sipping. So, she went to talk to somebody about taking the cash. And she came back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you ready to go back? Come with us. So the doctor came back, and she said, and the mama said, if somebody don't see her soon, I'm gonna break her arm. And the doctor pulled up, and he was like, oh, well, we, we might as well get this going then, because I don't want no broken arm. Something to that nation. And she said, oh, I'm sorry, I was just playing. He like, whatever, girl, get out of my face. And she looked over. Baby gone. That baby was good, I ain't gonna lie. It was, it's like, it look better than it. It tastes better than it look. And if they would have had a better customer service, I probably would have bragged on it, but man, I ain't standing there. And it's the, uh, the frosty dog. With, co with coleslaw and chili on it. Like I say, tastes better than look. I ain't tasted this yet. I mean, it's like they boil their hot dogs. They boil their wieners. Mm. It's okay. I should have some onions on it. So, I got the analyzer and he's looking in her eyes. He said, yeah, she might have fractured her arm. But he looked in her eyes, you see, that like she might have something going on in her head. So we're gonna do a CAT scan. I said, and they said, oh Lord, all that? I said, yeah. So we're gonna, ain't gonna take it long. We're gonna do the CAT scan. I'm gonna go back and do the CAT scan. They said, hey, don't even one parent alive at the time. And I said, uh oh. And he said, okay, you go back with that fine. I look and say, you did good, daddy. And they go on the elevator with the orderly, nurse, whatever. And that's the last you see them. Till then. 
he he said he gonna go get a hotel room and they're gonna do the thing later when the, he said that but that's what they was planning because they need some stress relief you hear me i'm pretty sure they were gonna have relations so come back to he woke up in the, in in the uh, waiting room he woke up in the waiting room like dang it been here a minute and he get up and go to the front desk and he said hey I'm looking for uh, my daughter. I forget the girl's name. And she looking at five. And she say, we don't have nobody by that name in here. And uh, I was like, uh-oh, they done kidnapped his daughter. You don't have nobody by that name in here. He said, well, Dr. Such and Such. He said, well, Dr. Such and Such done left for the day. He said, oh, no. And I said, man, I'm thinking, I said, man, you better call the police. They can't find your daughter and they can't find your wife. You better call the police, bro. I'm trying to tell you now. So, he go back and sit down and cause nurse said she'll check. And he come back and she on the phone and look at him and she hang up and look at him and she's like, oh yeah, your daughter. We can't find none, sir. I don't know what's going on. And we'll call the doctor. And we'll call the doctor to see, but then the doctor pull up and he say, well, just calm down. Just calm down, sir. And he checked the records and he said, we don't have nobody by that name. And I don't know what to tell you. And then they called security. And security like, bro, I'm be, I've been waiting to snap on you. I've been waiting to snap on you. So you just move. You just move. And then another order, another nurse order. I don't know what it was. He came by. Because the body started nothing up. So they drugged him and they and they put him in a room and locked the room. This joker, he might have had some nurse training or something. Cause he was in the place with a bunch of uh, medicine and stuff, like uh, like emergency rescue stuff. They had snake venom in there and adrenaline, and they gave him a sedative. He took the adrenaline. He took the first one and shot him in the leg. That didn't work, so he took two more adrenalines and shot him in the leg to wake him up. I said, "Boy, your heart about to bust." And then he broke the window and got out of the room, and he ran. He get to his car. Let me taste more. He get to his car, and then he sees some police. And he be like, hey, police, hey, police. Hey, man, they got my daughter, they got my wife, man. I don't know what's going on. And there's a black dude, black cop, and a woman cop. And they took him seriously. They, they, but the black cop was like, mm -hmm, but I take it seriously. But just don't don't trip, bro, don't trip. So they go back in the hospital, and they asked everybody that he spoke to. And they was taking it side. Now, I must say, them police was some good police, because they was taking it side. And he started, he started nothing up, and they took him to where uh, he last saw his daughter, and her scarf was there with blood on it. And he started crying, and, and, and the black police like, bro, where this blood come from? And he was like, this is my daughter's. It must have came from me when I was bleeding. But this is proof that she was here. That made sense. Oh, uh, let me let me keep talking. <laughs> so uh, he said, they said the. Uh, the, uh, what you call it? The Cascade room was on, on, up on three. He said, but nah, they went down to LL. They went down to LL, lower level. And he said, well, we're, the Cascade room was up on three. It got records to show who we cat scanned and who we didn't that day. They go up on three. And he said, your daughter ain't nowhere in here. The only dude, the only person we cat scanned was an elderly person with an appendix or something like that. <laughs> so, he was like, oh man, whatever. And then they say, man, call that psychiatrist. Tell her to come up here. So the psychiatrist came, a black lady. She had a short haircut. She looked kind of like she played on Star Trek or something. I was like, she don't look right. So he was like, she was like, sir, tell me what happened. And he told his story. He was tripping like, oh, see, they got my daughter. He said, she said, sir, from what I'm listening to, I think you crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? And I don't trust you. And even the black police was like, look here, you better straighten up or we gonna put you in jail. I'm just being honest with you. And the white woman, the white police woman, she's like, sir, yeah, you need to calm down. Cause this ain't looking good for you. So he was like, well, let's go back to the spot where the accident happened. And that'll prove, cause he said, the, uh, the cashier lady, she saw us, she saw three of us. And that'll prove that, um, that something happened. So they went back to the spot and the cashier lady wasn't there, but they said they put out an all points bulletin on her. She got to come quick. So they looked, they looked down where, where she fell 
And they found the little the, the American compact. He was like, see, I told you I wouldn't lie. I told you. And then they moved some more dirt and stuff, and they seen a whole bunch of blood. They seen a whole bunch of blood. And he was like, whoa, what's going on? And then they then he seen a dog that was uh moving towards her. And he was like, I'm not crazy. Because everybody thought he was crazy. They put him in handcuffs and everything. Like, yeah, you going to jail because this is too much blood. This is too much blood right here. Who been bleeding this much? So they seen the dog and he and he was like, I'm not crazy. And they put his hand behind his back. And before they could put a cuss on her, he reached and grabbed a gun and grabbed that little evil looking psychologist and put the gun in her back. He said, hey, everybody drop their guns. It's like, this is the stick up. Everybody get face down. We ain't grab their mouth so they don't make a sound like at hey, Popeyes were. Well, they ain't take money, they took food. I seen that the other day where they robbed the Popeyes for the food, not the money. Boy, come on now. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So it was one, two, three, four police. <laughs> and four police and the psychiatrist and everybody drop their guns and they walkie talkers. I'm trying to tell you. If that had been a black man, boy, he, anyway. So they took him, he took them and put them in a the back room and locked them in the back room and stole one of the police cars and went back to the hospital. He get back to the hospital, he uh he grabbed a coat like he a doctor. And he took the doctor, he took the psychiatrist's key card so she so he can get in there anywhere. He can get in the hospital anywhere. I say, this man finna find his family. I hear you, boy. So he go and he go, he see the, the elevator that lead to the lower level, and he get on there, but he ain't got the key. He, it's a key, like he an LL, but you gotta unlock that level with a key. So he like, oh no. And then the, the security guard was flirting with the nurse at the desk. So he wait on the elevator till the security guard come on. So he get on, he say, Shh. he had little Roscoe, get on him. And he say, he say, uh, give me a key. And the security guard like, yeah, I mean, you can't just keep it off and rah, 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 rah. He said, as soon as you look the other way, and he looked the other way, and him and the security guard was uh, fighting. And, and I'm gonna tell you, Ray can't fight. Ray can't fight with the damn. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I like I was expecting more from this. This Ray is a dude that play. Uh, he played in the Terminator movie. He played in them tough guy movies, but he wasn't tough in this one. He wasn't tough at all. I like man. He look kind of pitiful. He finna get beat up. But then he got the upper hand on the on the security guard and uh and choked him out. I don't know if he killed him, but he didn't get up no more. He better bust his head wide open. But all of them, his face turned purple. Let me say that his face turned purple. And I was like, oh man, okay, he didn't got security guard. Cause I don't think he's a security guard. He he bad. He bad. He got to go. But don't kill him, Ray, because I don't think that'll look good when the police show up. Anyway, he get to the lower level and he see the girl that was taking all the information, but he was in a um, but she was in a nurse's outfit then. So he go and chase her. And he uh and he see which room she go in, and it's like organ donor boxes everywhere. So so he go in one room. Let me back up. He went in one room and see that uh, it was an accident that was there before he got there. And the people that was in the accident, all their organs was gone out of their body. And he's like, oh no, they trying, that's what they're trying to do to my daughter and my wife. So he come out there and he see the girl and he follow her into the other room because she had an organ on the box. And he go in there and he look on the table and it's his daughter. They finna cut his daughter up and take her organs. So he busts into the room, he say, hey, Get away from her. I say, boy, you talking too much. Kill them all. Let the paramedics sort them out. And uh, <coughs> and the daughter, the daughter like, hey, Ray, calm down. You just need to relax because I don't know what's going on in your head, but you need to chill out, bro, for real. He said, no, you need to chill out. And somebody made a move and he shot at him and he hit the, uh, the gas line that was in the room. So, uh, and they, they just stopped. They said, oh, no, he tripping. He said, back up. Everybody did. So uh and then he seen his daughter, his wife in the wheelchair, and she looked at him, he said, Ray, we've been drugged. They drug me. He said, It's okay, baby, we finna get out of here. So he got his daughter off the table, and took the line out of her, and put her in his wife's lap and rolled her out. And uh and somebody one of the nurses come from behind him and grabbed him and he pulled him and he pushed the wheelchair out of the room. He turned around and shot the gun and it said boom, because all the gas in there. Cause all the gas in there. So he, uh, he, and everybody blew back. So he got up and the doctor then was on fire. It's like little fire, cause they was patting him out. It's like, ooh. So uh, he went out and one of the other, uh, he thought was a nurse, but he was in the doctor's suit then. Uh, he say, he say, Ray, 
Bro, you need to calm down, man. I don't know what's going on with you, but I can't let you leave here. Bro, I cannot let you leave at this hospital. He said, oh, yeah, I'm going to go at this hospital. He shot him in the leg. He said, like, oh, right, I'll bump this joint. He can go. He can go. So Ray Ray passed them, and he went to the car, and they put him in the back seat, and he drove off. And and the, and the daughter, I said, yeah, man, that's what's up. And the daughter was, was like, oh, my arm still hurt. My arm still hurt. And the wife was like, she had come to then. And she's like, Ray, thank you, Ray. And then he looked in the rear mirror, rear view mirror and nobody was there. His wife wasn't there. His daughter wasn't there. But it was a dude that, had been, that was about to have surgery laying on his back seat. Like, Negro, what, what, what's going on? And I hope he wasn't dead. Couldn't find out. Ray was crazy as hell. Just like that doctor said, Ray had lost his damn mind. Excuse my French. So, <laughs> so then when he started having flashbacks, everything that started, there, everything that happened was totally all up until the girl falling and him falling was true until he woke up. He woke up. The girl hit the ground. She might have been alive, but when the when the wife was beating on him on his chest, he he knocked her out of the way. And the little uh the little steel pipes that come out of concrete, she fell on that and died. That's where all the blood come from. So he took them and put them in the back of the truck. Like he gone completely crazy. Drove into the hospital and went to treat he drove to the hospital because he went to treat himself. He said, hey, man, I'm bleeding, you know what I'm saying? Help me, help me, please, help me, please. So all that he was doing, sitting up and down, they treated him and let him go, but he kept coming back to the hospital. And that's when they was like, man, what's wrong with this dude? What's wrong with the dude? And like I say, <clears throat> the dude that was supposed to get uh, operated on was in the back seat. He thought it was his wife and his daughter. And he drove off. And it went off just like that. So Ray could still be out there, y'all, driving around with two dead people in the boy, three, it probably three dead people by now. It probably three dead people by now, cause I'm pretty sure old boy ain't make it. He done set some daughters on fire and then killed the gun, shot a doctor in the leg. And he's like, we didn't deserve this. Oh crazy people, man. I'm sick. They probably veterinarians or something right now. They said, we ain't doing this no more. I'm sick of these crazy people. And there was one pretty, two pretty nurses in there. Like, every time Ray came up to him, they got scared. They should have gave you a hint right there. Like, he tripping. I need somebody to help me. For real. It's called fracture. So not the little girl's arm fracture. Not their relationship fracture. His brain fracture. His brain gone. It's a pretty good move. I expect some more pretty good movies come from Netflix too. You know what I'm saying? Based on how much they taxing right now. Netflix, Netflix need to come with a supply of snacks every month. Movie snacks, cause good lord. I remember Netflix was $6.99 a month. That is over $20 a month. You know, everybody got Netflix. Everybody got Netflix. So you know they're making some money now. I know how I could have did, but. Let me do it. You know who real sexy to me with her brown lips? Uh, Zoe Saldana. She always be having relations with these, with these uh, white boys in these movies. But I be like, she knows she black. She knows she black. She need to try a black dude. Once you go black, you can come back because you know you black. I don't get it. They always be putting on white dudes with uh, the dude from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. He did not this dude. You black. You black, girl. I'm sorry. I might cut that out. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that I'm gonna do that movie next because I, I got a lot I want to say about that one too. I ain't gonna tell y'all though. Hey, I'm taking this last bite and that's it, cause my stomach hurt. Mm -mm. 
the water got me. And I got a Coke Zero that I got from that place, but it's from the uh, Coke machine. And I took a sip of it, and it didn't taste good. That's why I didn't drink it. If y'all want to do harm to me, you trick me into drinking some tap water. I'm trying to tell you now. That's what you want if you want to do harm to me. This is delicious. Hey, let me get this hug from you. It's a little dark, but it's okay. I got an extra night of me today. I work hard for this today. I was talking about that movie. And something in my stomach said, mm, get it over with. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without struggle, there is no victory. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you really like how that movie went, I don't care. Hey, and if you want to donate to the cause, man, my Venmo, my Cash App, and my, uh, what is it? PayPal is in the description, man. You want to keep this movement going, go ahead and send me like a dollar or two. I really, really appreciate it. Because I ain't got that thanks button to be on other people's videos. You can just hit that button. Y'all can donate. Hey, and my um, my merch is on on this now, so you can just click on it if you want it. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm putting some new stuff out. They didn't tell me that they was gonna put it out because the note the notification I got from them was saying like, hey, you ain't got nothing on here to sell. So I said, okay, maybe they want me to put some new stuff out, and I'm working on that now. Matter of fact, I'm finna go do that right now. See if I can update it. I don't know how long it takes to get here, but if you see something on there you like, that'll help too. That'll help me too. You know what I'm saying? I got uh, I think pins, coffee mugs, the shirts. What I'm working on really in the hood is pins, coffee mugs, bags. And Janice says she, she she ordered her bag. I said I appreciate that, Janice. I really appreciate it. They come in different colors. Shirts and t-shirts come in different sizes. But bear with me, Kim. For I'm coming. I just be working a lot. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stick to what pay my bills. You hear me? But I'm trying. I promise you, I'm trying. That job is sick, man. I told you last video. If they show you who they are, like my Angelo said, somebody remind you, you believe them. If they show you who they are, believe them. But she might have got it from somewhere. She could have got it from my daddy. How about that? I love y'all, man. Hey, uh, check on your kid folk. Appreciate everybody checking on me, Cynthia. I see you, kid folk. I know you be checking on me. I, know I love you too, kid folk. I love you. But uh, stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay kid folk. Bustin'. Bussin', mm -hmm. bussin', you got to trust the Coke Zero. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know why I did that singing. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Bussin', bussin'.